Hey there, Apple enthusiasts. Are you frustrated because your Apple Pay is restricted and you can't process your payments seamlessly? Fear not, because today we'll cover the ultimate guide on how to fix Apple Pay if it's restricted. We'll walk you through easy steps to troubleshoot and hopefully solve the issue so you can keep making those quick and secure transactions you love. Step one, check your device compatibility. First things first, let's ensure your device is compatible with Apple Pay. While Apple Pay works on most recent Apple devices, there are still a few exceptions. Ensure your iPhone iPad or Apple Watch is running the latest iOS or watchOS. Head over to Settings, tap General, and then Software Update to verify if you're on the latest software. This simple check often resolves many compatibility-related issues. Step 2. Verify Region Settings Apple Pay isn't available in every country, so make sure your device's region settings are correct. Go to Settings, select General, then scroll down to Language and Region. Check if the region matches where Apple Pay is supported. Mistakenly choosing a different country could restrict Apple Pay's functionality. Step 3. Ensure Apple Pay is enabled. Navigating to your Apple Wallet is key. Open your Wallet app. Tap the plus sign to add a card if it's not showing up. You may need to enter your card details manually by selecting Add Credit or Debit Card. Follow the prompts to enable Apple Pay. Also, go to Settings, tap Wallet and Apple Pay, and make sure Apple Pay is enabled and the correct card is selected for payments. <clears throat> Step 4. Double check card information. Make sure your credit or debit card information is accurate and up to date. Sometimes restrictions occur due to expired cards or incorrect details. Contact your bank if you encounter persistent issues. There might be restrictions on your bank's end that need addressing. Step 5. Address security features. Restrictions may arise if your device has not been secured with a passcode or biometric authentication. Go to Settings, then Touch ID and Passcode or Face ID and Passcode and ensure that they are properly set up. For Apple Pay, having your device secured ensures an extra layer of protection against transactions. Step 6. Contact Apple Support. If your Apple Pay is still restricted after going through all the aforementioned steps, it's time to reach out to Apple Support. They have access to more detailed diagnostics tools and can help identify problems that are not apparent to standard users. Visiting an Apple Store for a face-to-face -face consultation can also help if the issue persists. Fixing Apple Pay when it's restricted may seem daunting, but by following these steps, you're on your way to a hassle-free experience with your digital wallet. Whether it's verifying compatibility or checking your region settings, or even consulting Apple support, these actionable steps will get you back on track. Remember, always ensure your device is updated and secure, and don't hesitate to reach out for professional assistance when needed. With this guide on how to fix Apple Pay if it's restricted, you'll be on your way to seamless transactions and enjoying the convenience of Apple Pay once more. Happy purchasing.